Hey folks, welcome back to Northgard. Now we left off last time, I think we built a couple buildings. This one, our scout's been injured. Um, yeah, we need a couple people in there for wood cutting because we are at only plus one right now. And watch what that ha what that does. There's plus 11, so five each is what they're good for. Um, axe throwers right here, but let's go look at our scout. You've got only half life left. Let's bring you back to... Oops. Scout, not everybody else. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. And I needed to right-click him so it wouldn't bounce all the way over there. Anyway, that scout's going to go there. You are going to become the next scout. All right, everybody else is just concentrating over here. Let's grab villagers instead to... If you were to focus your energies on collecting foods... Now there's no house there, though. There's a house. Hmm. Oh, well. Just continue. Actually, right there. Now, the thought was that the silo gives a 10% bonus. Yellow spring to your food. Let's see. Improves food produced in this area by 10%. So if you could produce food where you have a silo. We have a silo over here and no food coming in, actually. There is a house there, but I have a feeling... Yeah, I can't put that there because this area can only do three. We could develop the area for 100 gold, but that's going to hurt us badly. So we need to really move a house out so we can put the farm in there. And we also want to put a silo. Okay, the silo's there, but then we don't have a house. Boy, a lot of balancing to do. Anyway, where to right now? Who are you? Ah, we have an enemy scout in the area. And he is spying our land. Ah. Oh, and I see this too. There's so much happening at the same time in this game. We've got enough lore to do at least one more. Don't know if that does two, because it'd be like 180 for the next one. Where do we want to go? We've got the first of each of the three categories. And you kind of want to stay balanced here. you got to think about that. We are playing Domination. We are basically going to win by overtaking the map. So that means that the enemy is playing by Domination Victory Condition 2. So I don't know for certain, but I would make the guess that the game is going to tell the AI to start building up its military. So we do need to concentrate here, but without a strong economy, we can't support a good military. But if you build a strong economy without a good military, it'll be taken from you. And the enemy will say, thank you. So, where do we go? Let's just look at these over. This reduces the amount of food necessary to colonize one area. You know, I've never read the word one before. I always assumed that was just a blanket 30% for colonization all the way through. But it does say one area. Interesting. Do you want to save that toward the end when it's far more expensive? I don't know. Um, or also, maybe it takes you... I don't know. Mining efficiency? We do want to get to that stone so we can start upgrading, so that's important. Fur coats. Your military units no longer have reduced power in the winter. That's important, too. Pillaging. Gain 15 crowns for each enemy that you kill outside of your territory. And this one does not say one enemy, but each. That's important to get as early as you can, so you can gain that 15 for all of those enemies, including wolves and, and druger and bears and everything else. Shipbuilding, increase your sailors' resources. We don't have that going yet. Coinage, your merchants will produce 20% more crowns. That's something to be doing soon. Let's go for mining efficiency right now. Oh, I'm on pause. There we go. And we do have enough for two. Recruitment and medicine. Let's get the healers to do their job faster. In fact, if they do their job faster, can we pull one out of there? Field rations reduces your military unit's food consumption by 70. Hearthstone um, reduces extra fire consumption in the winter by 50%. Boy, all of those are important. But with what we have right now, we just did... I did do the mining one, right? Talked about it. Yeah. Let's get mining going over here. And also, did I do it? I didn't. Okay. I uh, can't do any of it. Oh, I can do that, but um, I, I want to do the housing first. Build. 
let's put a house here and a house. I already have one there. Housing, we're going to need more soon, but I want to get rid of one. So, where else can we put a house? Nowhere until we expand. How many can you take? You can take uh, three buildings. House, house, and mine. Um, that should do it. Yeah. Build a house. And build a mine. Right there. Alright, villagers. Get to work on that one, that one, and that one. Oops, I clicked them all, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, everybody back over here. And then do that one, that one, and that one. That didn't work. Okay, try it again. You. Alright, now I think we have them working. I confused them. Um, you guys are collecting. You're going to drop off into there. Okay. So, once the first house is built, we'll take this out. Otherwise, we'll have three people without homes, and that can't be good to our happiness. What else is going on? We do have this one to think about. Now, theoretically, you can have two and two. Uh, quarry is done. Meaning that... Let's get that going. All right. I'll come back to that conversation in a moment. You, house, destroy. We get back 15 logs and three gold coins. Yes. With that gone, we're still in good shape there. And I can get the farm going here. That was a huge need for... Uh, for early this episode. Okay, axe throwers. Really what you've got going on here is that each one of these gives you two slots for your warband. Right there. Increases the size of your warband. By building both of these, you could get four warriors, or you could get four axe throwers. Or typically you would divide them up and get two of each. But there's actually four slots available now. So if you really want four warriors, you can do this and get four without having to try to upgrade I like the little graphic there without having to upgrade this guy to try to get it so now we have four available E calls them all up rats have infested our food and we lost 126 ouch needed another uh, can we do another you are only two of two we needed another silo this would have been the place to put it we do have one over here now we didn't get anybody building now let's get that going and it is raining, which means... That, ah, there's the sun. I was going to say, which means the uh, video is not going to look as nice when it's all dark and gray. He is running in to do that. Okay, once that's done, we get a couple more farmers going, and we should be good on food. Scout was hurt. I will eventually get back to that uh, war band, but let's grab a scout. Yeah, let's do this. Grab scout, toss him into here, grab you, and make you the new scout. All right, war band. There you are. I want this, and I want this. We saw that our enemy scout is in the area, so the enemy now knows these fields exist. What else do we know? Ooh, there's another one over there, and that's our enemy scout who has also been injured, and he's going where right now? Now, oh, he already knows all this land. That's not good. But we know of these. Ooh. The Giants. Let's get that scout over here. Let him scout that one. Alright, back to Warband. Let's get into this one, which means we have to get into this one. Which means we have to take out these guys. The Druger. If I'm pronouncing that right. Let's take you first. They are strong. So, he's the one who's going to take all the beating first. And he still is? Nope, he switched over to that one. Okay, good. That evened everything out. I was going to pull the weak one out. So the strong one would, would take the, the rest of it. But let's get over here. Our healers can now uh, get to work on them. And we have an exclamation point. Building with no workers. Ah, let's get two farmers in there. Negative 11 right now. Winter's coming. Let's see. There's negative five. And we're going to be at zero, aren't we? Plus one. Now, if I can get a silo into here. What does it take to upgrade this? Develop area for a hundred. We don't have it. Let's get a trader going. That brings in funds. 
trading post, merchants will earn crowns. Where to? That's a big where to. And here, I'm going to want a, uh, a mine in there. We just took this area. Let's claim it. 160 food. Now, when we can get to this guy, the Berserker, he will have the ability to claim at least one. I think it's a cooldown period. So one every, I don't know, half a year or something like that. Or else it's every amount of fame. I'm sure, not, not sure how that works. We just got that. All right. You and Trader. That'll be a place for you. What else goes in here? You are ruins. Treasure is waiting to be found here. Let's go ahead and get that one going. This scout ever finish the job? He is busy discovering, and so are they. Uh, these giants are either horrible enemies or wonderful foes. I'm, I'm sorry, wonderful allies. That sounds a little more... Yeah. Um, you can trade with them, and as you trade with them, you'll build favor with them. And the one who builds the most favor, they ally with. At least that's what I've been told. I've not, never actually gotten that far yet. And so we want to start that process early. Which is done with the merchant. Let's get that built. And if we can get food coming in at a good rate, we could trade with them. That is done by having more sources of food. Which is what? Right there, dear. Huh. Warband, we need you. Hop in here. Though we do have winter coming. Do we want to spend another 200 and some food on that? We could go this route. Though we have winter coming. No longer have reduced power in the winter. And the winter's coming right now. We need both. Under attack. Pull out of this. Find it. E. And go after them. And here they come. You. Let's pull you out of here. Let them take care of it. Here we're starting to lose our land. We're not going to. In fact, you can get back to work on that. You'll be fine. There we go. And it's still our land, so they're being healed from here. You can see the green bar going up a little bit. What do we have going on here? Depleted de oh, deposits right there. This is done. So you guys are now a people instead of a miner. You go away. Construction of trading post is complete. Are you sure you want to destroy this building? Yeah. Okay. Over here, let's get two people working on this and watch the gold. Negative one becomes plus two and eventually plus four. Five? Where are you at? There she is. Let her run into there and we'll see what that goes up to. And then as we hit... Oh, okay, there's something else we have to do in there. Plus four. Okay. Um, as we get into this one, which is probably the next one I'd want to do, we're going to see that increase by another 20%. But because we have done six out of six knowledge learned knowledge we get to take one of these bonuses this one is huge it gives you stone and iron that which means we could get our berserker and we could do all kinds of things with him militarily but we've hurting right now in happiness i think we're going to have to go this route gain three happiness unfortunately so let's oh i want the other one though i could get the tavern going Let's take that. And let's work in the tavern. Yeah, they're not happy people. Tavern, where are you at? Right there. This will, For each brewer, basically, you'll get a boost to happiness. Let's make that happen. Where to? There's nothing else going on in here. There's no food. There's no mining. You're going to go right there. Whereas this one, we need to sneak a mine in as well. Can that be done? We have plenty of wood. Food's a little bit of a problem. We were trying to get into here. That's right. That's why the our warband was over here. We got a wolf to take out somewhere in there. There's at least one. Does it say? Just one. 
No, no problem. You guys, just uh, go visit. Thank you. Don't even need to babysit that one. Uh, negative seven tavern. I bet you I never assigned anybody to build it, did I? Uh, I forget that a lot. Anyway, did you guys actually do it? You did. Okay, so let's... Our scout was hurt. For 140, that did go down quite a bit. I wonder if it took it back one step or something like that. Uh, we've survived another year. Let's go ahead and do this. And we'll get food coming out of this area. Then we can start trading with... Did we discover these guys? We officially did. The... Jotun? I'll go with that. Thane. Come back to this. Thane, word of your success as a leader has reached other clans and you have earned a new ability. Assault. Your military units gain 15% attack bonus when fighting outside of your territory. That's nice. But Thane is the next title right there. Next one will be Jarl at 500. So we just hit 200. Alright, that's there. These guys, usually peaceful. Trade enough food with them, and they might join you. Aha. So that kind of confirmed what I had remembered. So on pause you, we want these guys on our side. That would be very helpful. Um, lots of wolves here. I wish we could take out their scout. I wish there was a, a tactic to do that. And Oh, I see. There's more, uh, more deer over here, too. And fish. Ooh, this would be a good one to have. You can get all kinds of food out of this one. A hunter, a fisherman, and a silo. And there'd be just a huge influx of food from right there. We want this. We want that. That's us. Any sign of... Ooh, we found the enemy. They're over here. And who are you? You must be a scout. They're using two scouts. I see. You are unknown. Ruby complete. Let's get some folks in there. That'll get us moving again. We're at zero happiness. We're at one happiness. So I guess we're going to get one happiness per. So I just called two people in. There. Here he is. He's on his way in. Construction complete. That was, that's already up. What was the last noise? Available trade routes. Build trade route. We're at plus four food. We're in the spring. If we were to base trading on logs... They don't want it. Stone, iron, they don't want it. Food? Ooh, we'll take your food. Oh. Do we want to? That's six food going away. We have enough lore. I would say yes, because I'm about to develop the, the deer over there. Let's do that. Start trade route. Oh, I have to choose them. Okay. That's done. Let's get some more food coming in. We already own it. We already own it. Trade, uh, hunter. Right there. Hunting lodge. And we have a, a way to get more lore going in. Ooh. We're hurting on villagers right now. Yeah. Let's do some upgrading. Did this ever happen? It did not. Allow to upgrade other buildings. Increase population by 2 and population growth by 20%. It took the stone that we took out of there and it's taken money, which we're starting to earn. Let's upgrade. Look how fast it's coming in now because of our plus 3 happiness. That's smoking along pretty good there. Upgrade you. Boom. Okay. Now we can start upgrading other things, which will also add to our happiness. So we're going to start filling our population quite quickly. You, though, still need... Oh, we have more than 50 already. Okay. Do one of you. I don't know that we gain more per house. One may be enough. Let's see. Does it... Do I get any kind of description? This one. 21. This one costs 40. What's the three up? Can shelter three additional clan members because of the upgrade. I see. Costs more, but we can hold more people. Doesn't indicate that there is a, a uh, contributor to happiness. I know that we're unhappy when we don't have it. Let's see. The brewery is adding four. Our amount of territory we have is adding six. And the amount of military units is adding two. You currently have three. One villager will... Join your clan every 37 days. Okay. Where to next? I feel like I'm floundering right now. Weather is cold. we got a blizzard coming in. And we still have negative food. 
because we didn't actually do anything with that, right? And we have this to deal with. Um, no, we didn't. I stopped right there, thinking I put somebody in lore right here. Runestone allows you to recruit a lore master who will produce lore. And I realized I only had one villager, and that stopped me in my tracks. We need to also get a mine going there. Build, we have plenty of, of that. I'll get on track here in a moment. You're going to go there. We're going to get another one working on that. And we're going to need another house. No, we're upgrading houses, which is gaining spots. But i got to get into this. And let's hit pause for a second. So we can stop and talk about it. Now, we need to get nine learned knowledge to get the next one. And next, I believe, we'll test this probably next episode. It doesn't necessarily mean because we've used this one, we can't have access to these or we only have these to choose from next time i think each time we get all three to choose from what is this one ancestral knowledge requires required to achieve a wisdom victory okay let's see unlock all blessings to achieve wisdom victory so i guess whoever gets all the tech tree filled out first wins when you're doing the wisdom one i see um we've got at least one here the thought was to go into coinage so we can get that coming in faster. Is that truly where we're heading? Plus seven is pretty good on coinage already. We haven't built the ship yet. If we didn't go there, what would we do? Field rations. Reduce your military units. Food consumption by 70%. That would help there, but not enough. Um, the hunters are going to help some there. Is there anything else that would help there? Those are done. Recruitment. No, don't need that. Reduces extra firewood consumption. We're doing fine on wood right now. Though we could get back a couple of villagers if maybe if we did that and shut down one of the the uh, woodcutters. Fur coats. Uh, pillage. Could do that in lieu of that. What's over here? Increase your lore master. That's important. Reduce your building's upgrade costs. That's important. <laughs> Explores areas and increases your military attack. Man, there isn't nothing here that isn't important. Um, let's start getting into these areas. Let's go with coinage. There we go. And we'll get into one of these two next time. Which is not that far off. Okay. So coins now, are, we've got eight coming in per month. It's food that we're hurting on. All right, so we're building over here, and is that finished? No, he's got a couple more pounds left to go. All right, so grab you guys and put you in right there. Ah, even if they're busy, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, I can't have you just build. What were you? You were an iron mine. You can wait just a little bit. I'll wait for the next villager to show up. Or, who are you? You're a scout, and you're acting like you have nothing left to scout. Well, okay, we'll come back to you in a moment. You, yeah. Well, nah, we'll put them there. We'll head into here next with our, our warband. You guys are fine. Um, scout. Why can you... Are you the scout? Why are you running? I didn't actually tell you to do anything. Why can you not explore? I guess that is the end. This is... Okay. If we were to grab this, what is the advantage of the swamp? Unstable ground makes it harder to build in this area. There's no advantage to the swamp. Where do we want to halt the enemy's progress and drop some towers is one way to be thinking right now. This seems to be a barrier. This is an access. This is a bridge between territories. This is a bridge between territories. This is locked out. Once they get into here, they can go three different directions. If we can stop them here, can I build one? I can build two houses in there, two buildings. Tactically, this one is really important. Let's get a warband over here. Right there. 
In fact, let's just go for it. You get, you take him out. This is also really important. But I'm a long way from getting in there. You can't just jump over. You have to take this one and then take that one. Food is getting better, but it's not great. And we have a blizzard coming. Darn. Fish. And we need to get into there. We could also farm these guys. They, you know, all, everything we take out gives us food. Could plow through here and I don't know. There's so much we need to do. We can't get all these lands. Let's see, you guys hop back into our land right there. Um, that's probably a good place. I don't I don't see the bear attacking because there's only one. These guys may invade. These guys may invade. That's a bear. We need to get this, like, now. Unfortunately, 170. We're just going to have to do it. Or they're going to take it because there's nothing holding them back. Hello. What just happened here? What are you guys doing? How is Red walking into our property? They've taken our land. You. Um, E, get in here. I think we're going to war. Oh, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Okay, we're taking it back. <laughs> this just got interesting. Stopped you. Has stopped you. Has stopped trading wood with you, okay? Pause. Our attack has soured our relations. We have enough lore, and we've established contact and ended it right then and there. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stop right here. We'll, uh, we'll get back next episode, figure out how to unravel this mess I just got into. <laughs> anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye now.